Chapter 5, questions 28 and 29. Now, in these next two questions, we are going to take a look at uh, finding a future value, but then uh, seeing what the effect of compounding is on the interest rate itself. So getting the APY, or annual percentage yield. Um, so these questions start with first, uh, 28, right? We need to first, you'll see from the A part, we need to first see how much we will have, and then we will use that figures to get the APY, okay? So let's go ahead. Uh, we're getting 2.8% is the stated rate. 2.8 goes there. He deposits, Devin deposits 9,500, so that's a negative value going away from him. How much money will Devin have in the account in one year? Let's see, compounding monthly. So that's important. Monthly compounding. Uh, so that's 12 times one year, or simply 12 is the number of periods. No additional payments. So the first thing we do is calculate the future value. Okay, so this is going to give us the answer to the A part. Click on the future value, and we get $9,769.50. And 44 cents. Okay. Now the cool thing is, is that we have our calculator all set up. What we're going to do is we're just going to make a few changes. So the thing we're going to change to calculate the annual percentage yield, the interest rates, we're, we're now going to be calculating, uh, so I'll use the second one as to kind of do it, how we're going to calculate on the interest rate. What we're going to change well, what we're not going to change is we're going to just leave these fields in. Now I'm copying them over because uh, I want you to see what I change, but on yours just leave them in as is. That's there, we leave the zero, and we leave this value that we just calculated as our future value. But I've changed color to indicate that that's now an input. We are going to solve here, but not yet. Okay, there's something else we need to change. What we need to change is instead of doing it monthly, we want to find out what's the effect, what would the interest rate need to be if we only compounded once a year. That's basically what APY is. So we change down here to annual, which is just once a year. So then we've got one times one, one period. So these are the major changes we need to have done now we click on the rate button, the interest rate, and it will give us 2.836. So having the compounding is what gives us this additional return. The contract says 2.8% monthly, but that's effectively the same as getting an annual return at 2.836%. So it allows us to compare by using APY, it allows us to compare two different investments that might have different features. It sort of standardizes and say, what if they all had the same feature? Uh, so we could just look at the interest rate and know which one is actually doing better. Okay, let's try it again, uh, 29. So notice we're gonna do one set of calculations first to get everything filled in, change it from whatever monthly, quarterly to annually, and then we'll get our APY. Okay, so 29, uh, we've got a, a bank account with 5.1%, 5.1, compounded quarterly, so there's four times in a year for a quarter, or quarterly. Uh, she's going to put, Miranda's putting in 3,000, so that goes up here, a one-time deposit, no payments. Uh, how much money will Miranda have in the account in one year? So four times one, we're putting in four here. And again, for the A part, we just answer this by pushing on the FE or clicking on it, I guess, is what we really do, the F, uh, future value button, and we get $3,155.95. Boom, done, A. For the B part, we just leave all this information in our calculator. So again, I'll copy it over here so you can see the difference. This does not change. This does not change. Future value does not change. 
but we needed to calculate it to have it in there. We're not, the interest we're going to change, you could just leave it as 5.1 when you click on the button, it will recalculate it. But what we are going to change is the number of periods, the compounding per year, it's going to change over to annual. So we change this, which changes this to one. And then now when we click on the interest rate button, right here in my hand, 5.1. 198 and again that's the answer to the B question um, but it's 